Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to learn about the code that actually powers the mouse head. Um, I've already practiced this thing a couple times and uh, let's just say it's not going to be pretty, so uh, bear with me on this one. Um, if you've never coded before, I probably wouldn't attempt this mouse head project because there's a lot of code and Arduino is based on the code, so you could actually look at the Arduino tutorials and that's probably your best bet at least to start learning how to code because it's gonna get kinda hectic alright but we're just gonna jump right into it um I'm not gonna go over the setup basically all this does is uh make sure everything's ready on the Arduino to light up the LEDs and everything and it actually runs a quick test to make sure all the LEDs light up um then everything runs off of three processes. Uh, you got a clock, you got a current sketch, and you got a selection process. The clock, uh, it handles uh, the time essentially. Uh, animations could run 30 frames per second, they can run 60 frames per second, they could run 30 frames per second, and then 60 frames per second. That's what the clock does. This current sketch process that uh, handles what well, part of the animation is currently lit up uh, you know, there's multiple frames in an animation. This is what tells, is to telling the thing to light up. And selection process that, uh, well, first thing it does is it checks to make sure if there's a remote connected or if there's not a remote connected, uh, it will just randomly select a new animation. If, if there's a remote, then it handles it. Um, here's the clock. I'm not going to go into it. It's essentially the blink without delay example from Arduino. So if you want to know what it is, look it up. It's just one of the examples. Uh, here's the actual selection process. Um, basically all it does is it checks A1. If A1 is high, that means there's a remote connected. So it will check to see if the remote has gotten any information. Otherwise, uh, just randomly change it if it's been 20 seconds. And here's the functions. I'm not going to go into them because they're short and they're dumb. Um, and here's the reset things. I'm not going to go into those. But right, here's what uh, this is the actual sketch process. Basically, it is a. Uh, you know, it gets the information from the selection process, which is a current the current selection. It's just a variable, and basically, you know, if you're typing on the remote, you type in zero five, or if it's just randomly doing it, it'll it might randomly generate five. And if it does, it will run this. If it type in ten, it will run this, or if it randomly selects ten. And basically, what they look like is this is if you happen to do zero. I think this is zero. Um, all it is is a bunch of numbers. That's what the frames are made of. Uh, pixel 1 color red is the number 1. Pixel 324 color uh, red would be 324 and such. Uh, green is uh, obviously these numbers. Uh, and basically all it does is you tell it how many frames you have and then it's another switch statement. The clock handles the current frame iteration. And you just tell the spitter what frame it needs to be lit up and how big it is. Uh, the name spitter for my method, don't ask me where I got it from. It was in early development. I don't like it, but it's stuck one day. So yeah, it's called the spitter. If you don't like it, change it. But yeah, it's sticking for me. And here's what it actually looks like. Um, this was originally supposed to be a giant if then statement, but the Arduino just can't handle the power, so I had to essentially make it a giant case statement. Well, it's, a, it's several case statements, but yeah, it's it's huge. Uh, I think it's about 2,700 lines of code. 
yeah 2736 so this is what I had to do for this thing because I multiplexed the transistors if you don't use transistors you won't have this problem but basically you tell it what LED which is from that those arrays tell it what LED to light up and it will go oh yeah it's like this one so then it will turn the correct pins on and it will turn the correct pins off that need to be off you know the anodes and the cathodes and then after it finishes running it it runs a reset and basically all the reset does is it turns them off remember how I said it turns on one LED at a time and then turns it off turns on another LED and that's how the mouse head works well there it is um, one other thing these things are I'm not gonna go into these but essentially these all they do is they they just shift the arrays in fact I'll, I'll show you uh, I had to build this because there's a lot of numbers to deal with so I built this thing this kind of works like MS paint um, sit there and you draw pictures la da 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 you only get eight colors though and only 324 pixels and it generates the numbers for you but unlike MS paint this thing could do basic animations so I could do that and uh, yeah about that uh, essentially what makes what makes this one different from this one literally they're just shifted down one so that's what all these functions do you just hand it the array and you say oh yeah I want to shift it down one this thing does it uh, they're buggy but I don't really care enough to fix it but yeah that's what these things do and there's a lot in them and there's a lot of a lot of weird stuff in there and I don't want to go into it but yeah that's the code um, I'm not gonna go in any deeper because otherwise this video will take three hours uh, this code is open source so you're welcome to take it if you want uh, if you want to actually look into it, I tried really my very best to put in comments for everything I can so that we could at least know what's going on. Um, I could actually go in deeper if you really want me to, but uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, I'm actually running out of video ideas. I have one more, and that's going to be how to actually solder the LEDs. But other than that, I'm out of ideas. If you got any other ideas, uh, let me know. But yeah, that's it.